I want to welcome everybody to this webinar entitled Saving Money and Delivering Performance When Building Foundations on Expansive, Compressible, Rocky, or Liquefiable Soils. The webinar is especially for developers of residential and light commercial structures. And when we say residential, we mean both developers of single and multifamily. My name is Tom Richards, and I work for Best Base Foundation Systems in the San Francisco Bay Area. Right up front, a major problem for developers today, and developers all across the United States, is a lack of good dirt to build on. And the cost and performance issues surrounding foundations in expansive rocky, compressible, or liquefiable soils. This is hard when developers acquire dirt, let alone build in it. Developers often use one of three solutions when building in bad dirt. The first one of these is lots of soils prep, or in other words, taking out the bad and bringing in, reworking and recompacting existing soils. The problem with this approach is that it adds 30 to 40 percent and even higher in extreme situations in both hard dollar costs and building cycle time. I have three pictures that I'm going to highlight of soils taken out in these situations or select fill being brought in or the rework of dirt. Again, you can see a lot of extra work that adds a lot of dollars and a lot of extra time. And in this case, time is money. The second option to combat this problem of building in bad soils is to pour really thick slabs. This can be done. And a uniform thickness slab can be 10 inches, 12 inches, and we've even seen them 14, 16, sometimes even 18 inches for a single story house built on expansive soils. The third option for developers building in bad dirt is to dig beams to form an in-ground ribbed foundation. Used throughout the Rocky Mountains, the southwestern and southeastern United States, this is an option. However, the trenching, the off-haul, the extra concrete used as the sidewalls crumble from the wear and tear of crews walking on them, the weather turned this one into the most expensive of all the three options. These are three pictures that I've taken recently in the last month of installations where you can see the trenches and the off-haul taken out or the sidewalls crumbling or in this case, the rain the night before and what it did. In this second picture, 20% more concrete was added to the ticket after the initial estimate because of the walls crumbling. In the third picture here, the crews had to wait three days before they could work as the water subsided and the trenches had to be remucked out and taken away. Again, it is an option, but the most expensive option of building in expansive, rocky, liquefiable, or compressible soils. Again, each of these three options can add an extra 30, 40% or more in foundation costs when building on the bad dirt. All can be done if you want to pay the price. And we haven't even talked about the performance issues with each. With all three of those options being presented, there is a better way. A foundation system specifically designed for bad dirt with nearly 15 million square feet installed over the past 20 years. A foundation system that has not one reported structural failure or callback in that 20 years. And the way we define structural failure is if your doors won't close, your windows won't open, there are cracks going up and down, you've got a problem with your foundation. And the third is a foundation that will save you 15 to 20% or even more versus those three options we discussed. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about those costs in just a few minutes. I wanna talk to you about the Waffle Mat Foundation Forming System. I'm gonna tell you what it is and what it's not. We're going to show you some photos of installation sequences and also talk to you about the costs 
and give you a quick cost check that you can compare your foundation to the waffle mat. And finally, we have an offer for you that you're not gonna wanna miss. Let's get going. First of all, let me tell you what the waffle mat is. It's a post-tension slab poured monolithically over either eight and a half or 12 inch high, 19 by 19 inch forms, we call them waffle boxes, that are easily placed and which provide void space for expansive soils. Now let me give you a comparison and tell you what it's not. It's not a slab resting entirely on grade, made entirely of concrete, without a place for the movement of the soils, like a uniform thickness slab. It's not a dirt formed rib system requiring significant trenching and construction, and is also without a place for the movement of the soils. Here's a picture of the waffle mat. Notice how clean and easy it is to construct. Now I'm gonna show you two pictures of foundations that are not waffle mat. The first one is a uniform thickness foundation. We've seen these, again, as high as 12, 14, 16, even 20 inches in thickness. The next is a picture of an in-ground rib system. Look at the cables placed the off-haul necessary from all those trenches that were dug in the ground. And finally, look at the walls. 23% more concrete was added to this foundation than originally estimated. Concrete that has risen 20% in the last year. Steel that has risen 15% in the last 90 days. Again, a picture of the waffle mat. And a special note on this picture, look at the perfect placement of cables, no sag. Engineers really like this, perfectly placed in the centroid every single time. Not only ease of installation, not only clean to build, but tremendous strength provided with perfectly placed cables, perfectly placed concrete every time. Here's a section view of the waffle mat. Notice the form boards from the edge. Engineers will design that somewhere between eight and 12 inches before the first waffle box is placed. The voids allow for the heaving soil to move underneath and act as a relief valve. The soil hits the beams that are poured and then again is deflected. This is how the waffle mat delivers superior performance. The relief valves, the small contact area provide Tremendous stiffness, yet again, a place for the heaving soils to move. Somewhere between a four and six inch top slab is poured. As a top view or a bottom view, if you were a gopher with a camera, it looks like a waffle. People often talk to us and say, well, that's what's on top of parking garages. Those are forms that are pulled out. The waffle boxes are left on the ground and become sacrificial forms yet allow for a place for the heaving soil to move. I'm gonna show you a short photo sequence on how the waffle mat is installed. The first picture you can see how light the waffle boxes are, how they're stacked and interlocked together to provide easy transportation. On the next photo, you can see how easily they're laid out and clipped together. This picture shows waffle boxes grouped in sets of four or two with the plumbing pulled up. A lot of people ask us, do you cut holes in the waffle boxes? No, all you do is leave one out and pull up the plumbing. Much easier than trying to deal with it later. The next picture is of a slab pour. You can see you can walk immediately on the waffle boxes. We have guys that weigh an awful lot. If I was there for you in person, I'm 6'4 and weigh 225 pounds. I always do a demonstration of jumping on the waffle boxes. Yes, if you jumped right through the middle, you could probably break one out, but you get to learn to walk on the edges. And like it shows in this picture, crews of seven, eight, nine, ten can easily maneuver and pour the concrete and work the slab. Finally, at finish, a waffle mat slab requires no special concrete, no mixing. It's like any other structural slab at that point. I want to take a few minutes and talk about some costs and comparisons, something near and dear to the heart of every developer. Each waffle box 
is $6.95 made and shipped to the building site. That $6.95 translates to about $1.68 per square foot in cost. Now I want to compare that with the areas WaffleMat provides cost savings. Soils prep, trenching, offal, concrete, steel, cycle time, and reserves for future warranty issues. Because remember, WaffleMat has never had a structural failure or callback. Developers everywhere tell us that savings in these areas generally add up to $3 or more per square foot. So in the final bullet point, the question is, does a $1.68 per square foot in cost versus $3 or more per square foot in savings make a difference to your bottom line? The answer is WaffleMat provides measurable and demonstrated savings when constructing on expansive, compressible, rocky, or liquefiable soils. And if we can go one more, for those people who are in drought areas where water is an issue, the waffle mat requires no pre-soaking, saving thousands and thousands of gallons of water per every building pad. Let's do a cost check and give you a quick way to see if waffle mat makes sense for you. If a slab is 10 inches thick or greater, or the total amount of concrete used is equal to that, and that includes the slab plus any trenches and or footings, and if concrete costs $95 or more per cubic yard, then a typical waffle mat design of an eight and a half inch waffle box and a four inch top slab will be less expensive in comparisons of just materials used. And that means any other savings in soils work, trenching, offal, cycle time, and reserves for future warranty issues can be taken at 100% savings. So the question really becomes, how thick is your slab and what does concrete and steel cost in your area? I gotta tell you a quick little story. I was down in Southern California and I was talking to a large production home builder about their houses and they said, well, Tom, we only have a five inch slab. And I said, well, it's probably not gonna make sense for you in cost justifications. However, when they looked at the two feet by three feet footings, the interior beams running throughout their footprint, the equivalent concrete was 16 inches. Boy, did the waffle mat make cost sense on that one. Again, how thick is your slab and the trenches and footings included and what does your current concrete and steel cost? I wanna to talk to you on this slide a little bit about cycle time because the waffle mat is one of the easiest systems ever to install. Day one or two, you'll install the plumbing and place the formwork. Day three, lay out the waffle boxes and steel reinforcement. People always ask us how many waffle boxes can be laid out. A good estimate is 75 per man hour. Day four, the slab is poured and your crews can go to work, framing can go up and off you go. Really what Waffle Mat delivers is a quick and foolproof installation. My last two slides talk about our guarantee to you. The performance is built in because the voids resist expansion from the overwatering and surface drainage. The ribbed footprint means less contact with the soil yet provides an extremely stiff slab. The cable placement, as you've seen, is perfect every time and provides minimum sag and a lot of additional strength. And one more thing, those waffle boxes made of recycled polypropylene plastic act as a built-in vapor barrier. No additional cost, and at this point, no is a good word because there is no pre-soaking of pads. There is no trenching for the beams. There's no footings, there's no spoils, and there's no offal. Less depth of laterals beneath the waffle box forms because remember you're putting the waffle mat right on grade and you don't have to dig your plumbing under two foot, three foot beams. And finally, the best part of our guarantee, over 20 years, nearly 15 million square feet have been installed in both single, multifamily residential, 
as well as light commercial, and there has never been a reported structural failure or callback. Finally, our proposal to you. Give us a sample plan, a soils report, and a cost of your current foundation system, and we'll do a complete side-by-side -side comparison with Waffle Mat at no cost. For over 20 years, Waffle Mat has saved money when building in expansive, rocky, compressible or liquefiable soils and delivered superior performance. We'd like to talk with you about that. Please give us a call and thank you for attending this webinar and letting us tell you a little bit about the Waffle Mat Foundation Forming System.